one. Today I am going to tell you the difference between variance and standard deviation as we have seen them separately that what is variance, how to find the variance and what is vari standard deviation and how to find the standard deviation. Although both of these are used for um, as a measure of variability or to check that how far the data are from the mean or from each other but there is a difference between them let's see how they differ from each, each other first of all we will see their mathematical difference so mathematically they are defined as so variance is defined as the average of squared deviation so this uh, basically uh, uh, definition is from its formula so if we write its formula then it will be more easier for you under to understand it so the formula of the variance is sigma square is equals to summation of i is equals to 1 to n x i minus mu whole square divided by n so this is the formula for the uh, population variance keep this in mind and if you are uh, looking for the sample variance then we will replace the sigma square by s and mu by x dash so mu is basically the mean. So this is the mathematical expression of the variance and it is defined as average of the squared deviation. So if I say deviation, deviation is the difference of the data value from the mean value. Then you have to take the square. Squared means you have to take the square of all these values and then you have to take the average. It means you have to add all the values of these deviations up to so on and divide it by the total number of data values in the given data set. So this is how its definition is explained. Now let's move towards the standard deviation. So standard deviation is defined mathematically as root mean square of deviations. Now let's see how it is mathematically explained. Basically standard deviation is similar to the variance in a way or in mathematical form but it differs where its formula is sigma is equals to square root of variance it means if you have the variance you just need to take the square of square root of it you will get the standard deviation so if i'll write here it's and replace the variance formula here as summation of i is equals to 1 to n and x i minus mu whole square divided by n. So this is the formula of the standard deviation and it is similar to the variance except the root. This is this root. Root as its definition is indicating root. So I'll write here so that you can easily differentiate root. So the in definition we have a root. So root means square root of mean square of the deviations from the mean. So mean square of the deviations. So deviation is similarly Again, I, if I write here, devi deviation is xi minus mu. Square is to take the square of these devi deviations. And means mean you have to take the average. Similarly, as you have seen in the variance. And root mean you have to take the square root of all these values. So this is how the mathematically they differentiate from each other. Let's see how they differentiate in terms of representation or symbols. So in terms of representation, variance is represented by two symbols. One is y2, let's see. One is sigma square and the other is s square. So sigma square is for the population and s square is for the sample. It means when you have to find the variance of the sample, you have to replace sigma square by s square. And if you have to represent the population, you have to replace it with sigma square. Then in standard deviation, how it differs is, it is represented by, again, two symbols. But here we have a sigma and s. Why? Because we have to take the square root of variance. So, square is cancelled by the square root. So, we will get sigma and s. And similarly, in the standard deviation, this is for the population and this is for the sum. And similarly, one more thing is, you have to replace the mu, that is the uh, mean, by x dash when you are going to represent the sample. And in population, you have to write the mu in both the cases. The next difference is very important difference uh, that most of the people quote regarding their difference is variance is expressed in squared units. As we are taking the square of the deviations, so it means whatever the data we have, we have to take the square as well as the square of its units. So when we express the variance, it will we will get it in squared units. For example, if we have a meter in, if we have a data of heights, and the heights are in meter then in the um, uh, then in the uh, variance we will get meter square it means you will get the variance in meter square instead of meter so it means variance is expressed in squared units while in standard deviation we have the same unit as that of the data why because we are taking the square root so if we have the data that is in meters and we 
take the square of the deviations we will get meter square but when we take the square of square root of the those meter square we will get the meter again it means unit of the data as well as the standard deviation remains the same so it means the unit is same so it will be easier for us to interpret the results of the standard deviation so the next difference is variance is a less common measure of variability most of the researchers and statisticians basically prefer to have the standard deviation as compared to the variance because of its um, you can say uh, because of its less intuitive interpretation or because of the uh, squared units or because of the squared deviations uh, uh, we usually do not rely on the variance so in compare compa uh, in comparison to the variance we have a standard deviation is most common measure of variability among all the different Uh, measures of variability that range interquartile range variance standard de deviation is most commonly used by the statisticians or the researchers in be because of the squared units and uh, um, actually quantify the dispersion uh, in terms of using the empirical rule uh, as well so that we can easily understand that uh, uh, what percentage of the data falls in first and the second deviation what percentage in the second and so on so here i also uh, like to uh, mention the empirical rule that tells you basically that uh, the percentage of the data that falls within one standard deviation uh, that uh, the data that falls in one standard de deviation is more near to mean as compared to the rest of the data while in variance uh, we, uh, we do not have such um, uh, measure to uh, quantify the uh, dispersion another difference between variance and standard deviation is variance describe variability of observations it means it looks into each Uh, each observation into the data set and check how they vary from the mean and from each other while standard deviation look at a set of values in a data set that uh, uh, falls near the mean or uh, away from the mean by using the percentage rule or the empirical rule so that's all from today's lecture